Today we'll be making this beautiful crinoline flower that you can place on your fascinators and hats in 10 minutes. Hi people, my name is Susan and welcome to my vlog, Susie's Vlog. This is where I share all things DIY, craft, lifestyle, family, vlog, you just name it so if you're new to my channel welcome welcome please subscribe subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified of all my videos every week for this video i'll be making use of crinoline of course measuring tape hot glue gun which is the best for this a machine thread and a needle now i'll leave a detailed list of everything i'm using with the measurements in the description box beneath this video description box beneath this video so for my crinoline i'm i'm using a five inches by five inches that is this square measures five inches by five inches how i got it was i measured 10 by 10 that is i measured my crinoline 10 inches by 10 inches and then i cut it into two so i cut each of these into two so i measured 10 by 10 inches in five places and i in six places rather and i cut it into two to give me 12 of this square which is five inches by five inches i hope this is understood so this was the first thing i did i'm also going to make use of this embellishment and you can use bead you can use you can use anything for embellishment for, but i wanted to put this embellishment at the center so the first thing i did was to take one of the this square the small squares and i added my hot glue on it and then i brought the two ends together as if i want to create a fold and i squeezed it like this in between my my fingers and this is quite hot if you cannot bear the the heat or the hotness of your hot glue gun then i would advise you to use another kind of glue like your uhu glue please don't use b6000 it doesn't give you a perfect job like this don't use b6000 another way of doing this without glue is by using your matching thread just tie the tip bring the tip together as if you want to glue like i'm doing here instead of gluing you just tie it around the, each of the tip and this is how i this is what i did for all the cutouts of my crinoline i discovered my work surface was too white and it was interfering with the color of the crinoline so i had to i had to introduce a darker platform so that my crinoline design will reflect in the video so i'm just repeating the same thing i did in the previous clip bring the two end of my of my crinoline together the two end or the two edges add my glue or if i use using a thread you can add your thread then squeeze it in between your fingers if you're using a glue like this hot gun or you are using uhu glue so just squeeze it in between your fingers till it's it sticks and that's what i did here after doing that the next thing i did was to get my matching color of thread and needle and i'm going to make sure i tie the end of the thread well now you can use a fishing line for this but i couldn't find my fishing line when i was doing this video so i'm using a machine color of thread and i'm using a needle so you want to pass the thread like this and do a running stitch and then you tie it just watch the way i tie i tie it around the end now when you've gotten to, gotten to the end before you tie bring the two ends together that is make sure the end crosses each other overlap each other just as i did before tying and then i will insert my my needle again do some stitch and tie and that is what i did for all this to create petals to create petals for the flowers
if you are still watching to this point it means you enjoy my video please please subscribe hit that notification bell to be notified of all my videos i share share every week leave me something in the comment section ask me questions i really really love reading your comments ask me questions if you don't understand or about something you want me to share just leave it for me in the comment section and for all my new subscribers just say hi i'm new and i'll leave you a special shout out in my next video and to my ogs thank you so so much for your support it means so so much to me see how beautiful these petals are they are very beautiful so i just arranged them there are some that are slightly bigger than the other so those bigger ones i, I kept them aside the smaller ones i brought them together so i'm going to start with the smaller ones now i inserted a matching thread into my needle and i'm going to arrange the petal just like this i'll make sure one is overlapping the other while i'm arranging and then i'll be stitching them together and arranging as i continue make sure make sure a petal is overlapping the the new petal that i introduced and before you 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 stitch and it is just that simple you stitch you arrange then when i was through with all the small petals i started attaching the bigger petals and that was it i arranged them tied the um the knots and it was this perfect So here is the finished flower, I've tacked it together and it has formed this lovely shape. Now I'm going to add my, my flower in the center, I'm going to add the flower and embellishment in the center. Now I'm using my B6000 because there was no light, there was no light again when I was doing the finishing so I just had to do use B6000 to do this as I was not having UHU glue. So I attached this, allowed it to allow the glue to frame up a little, then pressed it at the center of this crinoline flower that I created, applied pressure for a few seconds till stick and doesn't come in or off. And that was how I created this beautiful, beautiful crinoline flower. Do you enjoy this video? Do you want to see more of it? Then 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 leave me a comment in the comment section don't forget to check the description box below this video for more details and for more tips thank you so much for watching see you next time bye bye